My Gavanan and well met, I'm Arakir Galadirathan, Head of Divide and Conquer and here today to show you exactly how to disable your user account control and to delete your virtual store entry for games, any sub mod to Third Age Total War, any mod for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms, these are all important. So if you play Third Age, if you play Ruasici, if you play Stainless Steel and any other related ones, these will all be, this will be useful to all of those in order to ensure that your game plays at maximum efficiency and how the modders want you to play the game. Right, the first thing, the virtual store which I've got here on the right is created by Windows when it runs user account control on a certain file. So um, my virtual store, there is no med 2 im file for me as you can clearly see there and in program files there's nothing and just here there's nothing which is where it would be because I've given full control to med 2 so there's no virtual store. So what you want to do first is you want to delete your virtual store entry. So we'll take that one first. So if we assume you've just clicked on documents, so we go to anywhere, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your computer, which is OSC, and then you're going to want to go to users down the bottom here. So you're in th there and then you go on to users. And then once you're in users, you select your own name. I'm Edward. Hello, everybody. And then you scroll, you get a full list of this, which is again, more files on your computer. And you want to go to app data. It's just that one on the left. And then once you're in app data, you want to go to local, the top one of the three, and then scroll to the bottom as they're always alphabetical and go to virtual store. There it is at the bottom. And then once in virtual store, if you've got Medieval 2 installed where you where the game normally installs it, you'll need to go to program files 86. And then if you've got the disk version, there'll be a Sega entry here. And then in the Sega entry, there'll be a Med2 entry. And you just click on that Med2 entry and you delete it. And that is it. You then do. You don't need to worry about anything else. So, because some people really like to see what it actually all looks like, it would likely be exactly like this. You'd have that sort of setup. So, in Virtual Store, you go Program Files 86. You'd have a Sega file, and you'd have a Med2 file, and you just want to delete that. Job done. And that's all you'd have to do. Uh, you can delete the Sega one if you want, but if you have other Sega games, they might have UAC stuff in there, and I can't r advise you on those, unfortunately. But um, the Med2 one, just delete the Med2 folder. If you have Steam, it will likely be Program Files 86, then there'll be a Steam column, and then possibly, I, I assume, then Sega would be on through that. But unfortunately, I don't have um, any Virtual Store related issues through Steam, so never had to test that. But that's where you'll find the Virtual Store in OSC. And see it uses your name, app data, local virtual store, and then it's likely to be in program files 86. So that's how you delete the virtual store. So you've deleted your virtual store, but now you want to ensure that that doesn't come back and you want to make sure that you've got full control of your game. Um, now, when user account control is obviously very useful. It protects your computer. That's the whole point of it. But Medieval 2 Total War is a game. It's not a. It's not even a game that it has barely any multiplayer. It's got barely any connection to the internet. It's got no threats. It is just a game. It surprises me that the Windows takes this much security over just games. But anyway, it does. So what you want to do is you'll get to where you've got it stored. Now, for me, um, I have Medieval 2 outside of my Program Files 86 folder, so it's just here in the main column. But most of you will be in Program Files 86, and then you'll be down here in Sega. Or you'll be in Steam, Steam Apps Common, Steam Apps Common, and then you'll be in Sega Med 2 there. But however you get to the Sega file, you want to get to the Sega file, and you'll have a Medieval 2 Total War. Um, you might have other games as well. I, I, I used to have um, a few other games by Sega, and they'd also be in here too. But you only want the Medieval 2 Total War. You don't want to give full control to the Sega file, because you don't know if your other games might be threats. But Med 2 is not an issue. There's nothing about it that's trying to run anything that harm your computer. But unfortunately, the user account control stops the scripts of the game from running. Um, especially with mods because they add a lot more scripts, they add a lot more detail and um, so it can be a real issue. And all you have to do is you have to right click the whole folder and you'll get your normal screen and you go to properties. And then once in properties you want to go to the security tab which is just there and it will list all your users. This is Windows 8.1, no idea about Windows 10 but I assume it will be reasonably similar. Now what you want to do is select your users. Uh, my computer is called Arham which means throne. And um, I can, as you can see, I've already given full permission. So there's a tick in all of the allow comments. I ignore the special permissions. That one is is for real. If you really delve into the depths of your computer, but for what our purposes, we don't need to worry about that. So you click on users. I can. You can already see I've already got all these ticks, but I'll show you anyway. So once you've selected users, you select edit. 
it'll give you the second screen with the same thing. Again, it's the users that you're trying to edit. So click on users, and then all you have to do is tick every single one of those boxes. Tick, 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 tick. And then you have to click apply. Now, when you click apply, there'll be a second, a third dialog box, which just shows you that it is applying this permission change to all of your files. It can take quite a while, but it, it's you can see it progressing in front of your eyes. So just leave it to it, and it will. I assume it will beep when it's done. But it takes quite. It does take quite a while, so I don't want to um, video that just running through. Um, and then once that's done, it will bring you back to this screen. But the apply button will then be available to tick. So click. Um, oh no, sorry. It will then bring you back to this screen, and it will look exactly like this. These will then all be ticked. Apply will be greyed out because you've already clicked apply. Um, and then you just need to click OK. And then. Um, if apply is there, then click apply and then click OK again. And then that will be it. That is how you disable UAC. So you right click, you go to properties, you go to security, you click on users, you edit, you click on users again, you click all the tick boxes and you click apply. It will then run a dialog box here that will then show you it applying all these changes to your files. And then that will finish. And then you click OK when that's finished. And then if need to, click apply, but you shouldn't need to. You should just need to click OK again. And that will be it. They will then have no more issues with the virtual store. You'll have no issues with the um, user permissions. You'll have no issues with your scripts. Um, and theoretically, that is everything that you can do to ensure that DAC runs smoothly, or Divide and Conquer, or indeed Third Age. Now, just as a side note for those who know their computer a little better, if you have got it installed on a disk, it is very recommended to install the Sega folder outside of Programmer Files 86. So it might be, it might require a lengthy reinstallation, and but it is a way to cut down on more bugs. And quite simply, all you have to do is when you're installing the game in with the disk. I don't know how you move Steam files, but I'm sure an internet search will show you. But if you're installing it with the disk, you just need to pop the disk in and click on the install. And when it gives you the browse option, just omit the program files 86 and run it straight into the C file. And then it will put Sega here, it will put Med2 here, and then obviously through Med2 there's mods and then DAC and then Third Age 3, which is what it would be. Um, now that's only a minor point, but it is it does a, it does cut down on a few more potential issues, and it's also meant to make your turns faster. So if you have got the disc, I do highly recommend doing that. You can also just cut the whole file. So if you had a Sega file here, for example, you can just click on it and you can right click and you can just cut the whole folder. Um, I'm that's just a mock one don't cut anything else but you can cut the folder and then you come back here right click and you can just paste it it will take quite a while to move everything but that will also certainly get it out of your 86 file and both of those points are recommended so hopefully this video has been useful it's shown you how to disable UAC shown you how to delete your virtual store and from here you can move forward with the same setup that we have when we test all these mods and we test all these games so that should cut down on problems but for now, I'm Arakir Galadirathan, the head of Divide and Conquer, the submod for Third Age Total War. Um, Navarna den Perimad, thank you very much for watching and farewell.